Now, one of the things that's really exciting to me when I travel to Ecuador is to do work with local communities to help them understand more about their wildlife. So I pitched up in a village and one of the first questions that the people from the community had was about the bats. And their first question was, how do we get rid of all our vampire bats? And it turned out very quickly that they thought that all bats in Ecuador were vampire bats that were going to attack their, their cattle and be a danger to them. So what we did is we got some nets and I thought, I know what I'll do. Let's have a workshop and I'll catch some bats, I'll show them to you and begin to explain something about the amazing diversity of bats in this place. You know, within seconds we caught a beautiful little bat that's one that pollinates plants and it, it helped us by sticking its really long tongue out so that the people could see how it was a nectar feeder. And then we caught another one that was a fruit eater so that they could understand that actually most of their bats were transporting seeds and helping the forest to regenerate. And then it turned out, somebody else wandered in, and it turned out that they'd heard that bats were important for pollinating a fruit called pitahaya. Now, pitahaya is better known to you and me as dragon fruit. And there's suddenly a massive craze to cultivate dragon fruit because I think Starbucks have introduced a new dragon fruit smoothie or something. So anyway, everybody's growing pitahaya, and it turns out that pitahaya needs bats in order to pollinate it. And some people weren't having good harvest because they didn't have enough bats. So in the course of a few hours, this conversation had changed from one guy telling me, oh yeah, I burn the bats when I find them in a building. You know, they just set fire to them. Um, through to, wait a minute, how can we actually encourage bats in our area? How can we get more of them? Because now we can see that they're important for the crops we're trying to produce. And whether that's cacao or coffee or the dragon fruit, you know, these bats have a really important role to play.